Yo guys, what's up? It's Phil from Prodigy Productions and I welcome you to another video. In this video we are taking a look at Adobe After Effects shortcuts. Uh, I made this video because I bought a new keyboard for my computer and my new keyboard hasn't a numpad anymore. So I'm not able to start a RAM preview or start an audio preview. Uh, on my blog, on my homepage, you will find the link in the description. You have a list here. You can download the Adobe After Effects shortcuts, the 300 useful shortcuts. You can find this list there. So it looks like this. Okay, skip that for now. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how you can change shortcuts in After Effects. First of all, let's open up the Explorer in Windows. Go to our hard drive. Go to Documents and Settings. Uh, if you are not able to access this folder, simply right click, go to properties, then go, whoa, shit, here we go, go to properties, go to security, then go to uh, expand it here, then change the, change the permissions, now you can here select the first one and hit edit, and now you have to make sure you have here uh, the permission for all, so like me here. So that will be the wrong turn. Make the permission for all, hit OK, hit Apply, OK, and then you can access this folder on Windows. OK, so go to Documents and Settings, go to your current user profile, in this case it's my name here. Then go to App Data, Roaming, Adobe, and then you can search the program in Adobe uh, in the suite you want to. In this case, After Effects down here. Now I have two versions here, 9.0 and 10.0. 10.0 is CS5 and 9.0 is CS4. Uh, I, ch I already changed the uh, key, f uh, the shortcuts in the 10.0, so we have to change it in the 9.0, so in CS4. Now open up After Effects 9.0 shortcuts text. Now our editor pops up, and you can see all shortcuts in this in this text. Now we have to search with F3 and search tool, search for preview. Hit search and there we go, down here is the preview. Here you can see it's a comma preview, this is an uh, audio preview, uh, everything you are looking for you can find it down here. Okay so simply preview uh, means the RAM preview, so in this case we have the comma on the pad insert and pad insert mean on the numpad. pad, but we don't want that anymore so let's change comma to a simple point in parentheses and let's delete the pad insert so okay but this won't work because the point may be already used somewhere so we have to search for that uh, again go to the search tool and search for parentheses open dot parentheses closed and then search and yeah zoom in here Okay, let's scroll down a little bit so you can see it. So it's here, down here, zoom in. So we have to delete this point and again hit search and again down here we have again zoom in and we also have to delete that. If you have a mouse with a wheel on it, you don't need zoom in for the shortcuts. So okay, we, here we go again, delete that. And again search so no more dots in parentheses are found so this is okay hit okay close that and then go simply to save your data hit save so that's everything you want okay now we have changed the the shortcuts of the after effects cs4 version so let's try out if it works let's start after effects and here you can see version 9.0.3 
Okay. Here is After Effects. So let's make that a little bit bigger so you can see it. So now I import a little footage of me skiing. Import that. There we go. Let's make a new comp and see if the RAM preview works. Hit the point and yeah, it works pretty good. Okay, so we have changed the shortcuts now. In After Effects CS4, the RAM preview works perfectly. I hope you can learn something from me, you enjoyed the video. And if you have any troubles or you delete too much in the shortcuts, that's pretty easy. Simply go to to the same place, document settings, Philip, app data, roaming, then go to Adobe, After Effects, 9.0, and simply delete the shortcuts. So if you delete the shortcuts text, the next time you start After Effects, it creates uh, again the original After Effects shortcuts text uh, on the on the base settings on the on the default settings. That's what I, uh, that's the word I am searching. Yeah, change to the default default settings, and if you if you have a maybe a laptop or something, you you work outside, you you edit in the train or on the beach or whatever. Yeah, you can you can uh, back up the text for for maybe at home, and again back up one for for the beach or outside, whatever, wherever you are editing on your After Effects. So I hope you can learn something. See you next time.